So as you can see right here, I have a Dyno Glow Pro that heats off of kerosene, or you can also run diesel in them. And this heater I bought in about 2012, so it's about five years old, but I haven't used it in about uh, two or three years because it hasn't been working and uh, it's been really cold winter here. Been super cold here in the Midwest this year. So I figured I'd take it apart and finally figure out what the heck's going on with it. And what I did is I removed this top hood right here. And for that, you just take out all these screws and then you don't actually have to do this the way that I'm gonna show you to fix it, but you can take off these four screws right here and then right here is the fuel intake and this pops out if you might think yours is clogged it's probably not the issue i'm going to show you how to fix the problem it's pretty simple but this just pops right out as you can see and it has the filter on the end of there and then to put it back in just go like that put the fuel line back on it and I'm going to show you what the problem was that it looks like goes bad on a ton of these heaters so what you have to do is remove this you take off the gauge to remove this first this thing right here you have to remove to get to a couple of the screws And then you're going to take out four screws to remove this deal. And there's also a filter in there you probably want to clean. And then after that, you're going to take off all those screws that hold this deal on. There's quite a few of them, but it was pretty quick with my impact. And then as you can see, there's this fan deal that uh, blows the air so you can get in your fuel and this thing is all cracked and fucked up as you can see and this this seems to be a problem with a lot of these kerosene heaters from my research that i did on the internet so obviously i need to order a new uh one of these deals that pumps the air off of uh the motor so i can get fuel and you can see this one's just completely fucked and that was the problem some people said that on some of them you could uh, just clean them and hit it with like brake clean and graphite and get them to work. But on this particular heater, um, it is definitely a huge flaw that they're a made in China piece of shit. I think I paid like $400 for this heater and uh, this should have been a better made part. I can understand if it gets dirty but for it just to completely crack and break like this is pretty shitty. So, Dyna Glow Pro, fuck you very much. You make a piece of shit product that should probably be recalled. And I guarantee that this is the problem to a lot of you guys' uh, kerosene heaters, why it's not working. And after that, you just put everything back together. And obviously, I'm going to have to order this part. So, that pretty much fucking sucks. But at least I finally found the problem. So, hope this video helped you guys. Please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Also, I'll show you a couple other things too. This right here is the fuel line. Where it uh, takes fuel in. And then this right here is where it blows air. And that's what that little fan that's broken does. It blows it into there. And then this deal lights up. And that's like similar to, uh, you know, deal that you have on your grill that ignites the fuel. So you can see that kind of sparking when you turn it on. And then your motor should also be turning on a few seconds later that should be spinning this fan. Then there's also this photo cell thing down here that I also cleaned. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very good with the camera, but it's like right down there. 
It's kind of a bitch to get out, but you can like pry it out with a screwdriver. It's just a rubber thing that holds it in. And then some people also said that this switch went bad right here too. That's like some kind of heat uh, switch. But I guarantee nine times out of 10 from my research, this right here is going to be your problem. So hope this helped. Leave uh, some comments below if this helped you at all. If I'm wrong, if I don't know what I'm talking about, please tell me. I'm by no means a expert at working on kerosene heaters. I work on motorcycles, as you can see. So, not claiming to be an expert, but I hope this video helps people.